Welcome to another White Line Athletics video. Today we're going to be talking about foam rolling muscles of your thigh. Okay, we're going to be working from the uh, we're going to work from the middle. Your adductor muscle group here. So how we're going to get into this position is that they start at the pubic symphysis inside here, and then they go all the way down. One of them crosses the knee, but the majority of them attach on the medial part of your femur. So we're going to start in this position here. Okay. So what we're doing is. We're going to have the foam roller applying pressure, keeping our leg exposed like this, nice and flat. So we're going to get all the musculature down here, using our arms to balance, roll back and forth like this, walking slowly to the side. When you find a when you find a sore spot, what do you do? I mean, it's not like you're rolling dough with a uh, with a rolling pin, right? And that's one of the things sometimes when we're starting out we might see or might do is that we just roll over and hoping to get it out. When we do that, what's going to happen is that we're going to cause a further spasm in the musculature and that tightness is going to be multiplied and exacerbated, right? So what you want to do is, first of all, get your breathing down when you're doing this. Take nice, deep, relaxed breathing. Don't hold your breath because one of the things we need is we need oxygen, right? If we have irregular breathing patterns and we hold our breath, our respiratory system in our brain is going to shut us off and we're going to stop doing what we're doing so we can breathe. So it's not going to be very effective, right? So always, whatever you're doing, remember, conscious action requires conscious breathing, okay? If we're doing something out of the ordinary, which is anything else besides rested breathing and just hanging out, we need to figure out how we're going to breathe. So for this one here, I'm taking deep, easy, easy breaths. I'm going to find a tight spot maybe right over here. I'm going to breathe, relax, and the goal is to hold hold the pressure on there until you feel a slight spasm, you feel the muscle respond. That's normally when the muscle will release, okay? So what I'm doing here with my back foot is that my back foot is allowing me to reduce or apply pressure by dropping my left thigh, okay? Rolling back and forth, weight on the elbows here, all the way down and back. Okay. This can be done for both sides. And like I said, the regular breathing is very important. Okay, So those are your muscles of your inner thigh. The next one we're going to have is, well actually part of that muscle group that I was talking about too, is what you're going to do is you're going to get your medial uh, quad two when you're doing that. So that's also what we're going to be hitting up when we're lying on our stomach. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to work, um, we're going to foam roll the front. We're going to foam roll from the knee all the way up to the thigh here, getting our rectus femoris, and we're going to get uh, the medial edge of our vastus lateralis in there. Okay, so pretty much what I like to do is we're going to, I'll show you from the side here. This is going to be uh, on the midline here, it's not going to cross over. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to have this sitting right, in the, right at the edge of our thigh here. Okay, I'm going to lay down on my stomach. My elbows are going to basically form a little platform for me to walk myself back and forth. Because okay? that's how you regulate the pressure on here. Because sometimes, like, oh, 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 the pressure is too much. Okay, what we're going to do is think about pressure regulation, right? Use your forearms to balance, raise and lower your body doing that. And also, my back toe is doing a lot of raising and lowering too, okay? That's very important. Before you start rolling, understand how you're going to adjust the pressure because if it's too intense you're going to cause more harm than good you're going to cause uh, a further spasm in the musculature and you're going to be more tight and more sore than when you started and next thing you know you're going to fire this thing out the window and you're back to where you started right so here we go i'm going to start from the top of my thigh okay now balancing on my elbows like this what i'm going to do is walk myself back and forth slowly rolling until you find a tight spot, right there, apply pressure, I'm going to drop my leg off here and keep rolling back. One of the things we can do is if, you're, if you've been foam rolling for a while and you're looking to get deeper into the tissue, if you're looking to affect it in a different way, what you can do is you can apply pressure, flex your knee, Extend your knee as you're applying pressure. Okay. Right here, flex and extend. Another thing we can do too is if you want to get 
other edges of the musketeer you can go ahead and rotate so you can go ahead and roll in this way here so we're going to get the lateral part of our rectus femoris and the medial part of our vastus lateralis in there coming down and then come down like that so a couple different things you can flex and extend your knee you can change the angle of your thigh to hit the musculature at different angles and also we're using our forearms and back foot to regulate pressure it's all very important because that's going to affect how the foam roller pressure is going to be applied to the musculature okay now the next is the IT band okay Stuart spoke about this in another video so feel free to look it up but I'm just going to do what I normally do which is roll this whole whole band here but be being careful not to cross over the joint okay you never want to cross over a joint when you're rolling so what I'm going to do is I want to start rolling from very distal end almost right here because it's, it's going to finish around down here I'm going to start right over here roll all the way up to my upper thigh here okay so how I'm going to do this is that I'm using this arm to support my body weight okay you always want to have your shoulder right on top of your elbow because if it's going to be too far out the shoulder is going to be in a precarious position and all of a sudden we're going to start having shoulder stress okay so it's like a side plank pretty much you're supporting yourself with your shoulder okay I'm going to position the foam roller at just above my knee now it's important to see this foot here okay my back foot is basically going to be controlling how I'm rolling while this leg it's not doing too much okay this leg's just hanging out my back foot this hand and this arm are running the show okay so all pressure is on here I'm rolling back and forth using my back foot as you can see this knee is bending okay and I'm rolling and I'm about to cringe because it's getting sore yeah right there okay so you can really reduce a lot of pressure by pushing up on your forearm and using your back foot. If you just lay down on this thing flat, it's gonna to be too hard, there'll be a lot of pressure, especially if you're inexperienced. So those are two really good ways to um, control the pressure. Using a back foot, this is an angle like this, that's how that looked, okay? So using your back foot to roll back and forth and support yourself, full pressure on your elbow in a good supported position here, elbow over shoulder, and then walk back and forth just gently. So be careful, apply pressure in a responsible way because you don't want this to be associated with pain, you want it to be associated with recovery, right? So you gotta make sure you approach it in a responsible way, applying pressure gradually as needed, okay? And uh, that's pretty much it, so thanks very much for watching. Please click on the subscribe link if you'd like to uh, keep up to date with all the videos that we're putting out. Thank you, have a nice day.